Today we'll be discussing about HTML basics. So what are block and inline elements? <clears throat> so there are two types of HTML5 elements and it can be a block element or an inline element. Block element is rendered as the name suggests as an actual block or usually rectangular in shape. So example of this is the P tag. So P slash P. That's an example of a block element. So for inline, these are treated as a part of the flow of the document and the size should be normally not be changed manually. So example is B slash B. So I will demonstrate to you the difference between these two types of element so allow me to open now my notepad so i'm going to create if an html file so we have here html slash html so the html is composed of two major parts we have the head and the body and the head may contain the title slash title so assuming here I have here some text Let's say, for example, I have here text one, text two, text three. So let's first save this one. <clears throat> so let's say file. I'm going to save this. Mm. Oh, wait. I'm going to save it again in my on my desktop okay so desktop so with extension of HTML and then HTML basics then save so I have printed out my HTML file and if I want to view this I can use run and launch in Chrome or any other browser or I can just go directly to my file and then maybe double click or right click so if you double click it will be opened by the default application or you can right click and then you can choose the application that will be used to open the file so now I'm going to use my notepad plus plus to launch this page so that's my output uh, allow me now to make this bigger so I have increased the size to 500 percent so what will happen if I enclose this text in a black tag so just like for example P so P P and then I have here slash P P and then again slash P P and then again here slash P so that means that I have here three black elements and I use the P tag. So I'm going to refresh. So just by pressing F5, you notice now that the text after text one, text two is placed below text one because again, the black will occupy this whole rectangular area that's why it's called the black black uh, 
type of an element. So again, it will reoccupy the whole rectangular area. So that will be the appearance if you're going to use a black element. So what if I, instead of P, I'm going to use B, which is actually an inline element. So B is an inline element. So um, I, will, uh, I have saved my file and then I'm going to refresh. So you notice it will be still on the same line. That's why it's called an inline element. So that's the difference between a black tag or a black type of an element and an inline type of an element. So next we'll be talking about attributes. So attributes provide additional information about the specific element and they are always specified in the opening tag. So if it is a paired tag, it is always specified on the opening tag. For example, I have here a tag A, anchor tag. So this is a link slash A. So A is my tag slash A that closes, my, that, that closes the element. And href here equals something, uh, it's actually in the URL, is an example of an attribute. So another example, img is a tag, but this one is a unpaired tag or an empty an empty element. So img, I have here now two attributes. We have src, which is the source, and the alternate text, so alt. So again, this is an attribute. Alt is also an attribute. So we'll be having more of this as we go on. Now, the ID and class are actually two of the attributes that we will be using most of the time. That's why I, uh, I already placed it here, but maybe uh, we'll be using this especially if we'll be using CSS, jQuery, and Bootstrap. So ID, this is an attribute that assigns a name to your element. So since it is an ID, then it should be unique, just like your student ID. You should only be the one who is using that ID. A class is an attribute used to assign some general properties to your element. So a class can be used by other uh, elements. And like an ID should be unique, but class can be reused by other elements. And we'll be having more of this as we go on. Now let us try to see more examples of tags. We have actually um, a lot of tags, but I'm going to display here, I'm going to show you here only some of the tags. So first we have the heading tags. So H1 up to H6. So H1 up to H6, these are actually uh, black tags. Then we have I, italics, and B for bold, but sometimes these are no longer used. Then we have M and slash M for emphasis. Then we have strong slash strong. So to denote that the text inside is a strong text, we also have U slash U for underline, but again, bold, italics, and underline are now rarely used as uh, for formatting text because HTML is not really uh, the language that we use to format the HTML file. So HTML is not actually uh, about formatting. It is about maybe defining the document. So P is a paragraph text. We've been using that. BR break, that's an empty or as it is not a paired tag. So that's a line break. And then we have div, division. is actually a container block. Span is also a container, but it's an inline container. So these are examples. Now let's try to uh, demonstrate some of them. So let's go back to our uh, editor.
So assuming I have here my file. So let's say H1, University of Luzon, slash H1, H2, College of Computer Studies, slash H2. Then a paragraph. over the lazy dog near the bank of the river So that means uh, the document contains two headings and one paragraph. So I can save that and then refresh this file. So I have, let me make it smaller now. So I have here my heading one, which is uh, displayed as, as a slightly bigger text than H2. And then I have here my paragraph. So that's actually the output of this, or that is how my browser interprets this HTML file. So I have used all black elements, but let's try to make use of uh, inline elements. Like for example, strong slash strong. And then on the next sentence, I'm going to use emphasis so slash em. So I have strong and em. So let's try to refresh. So this is a strong text and this is for the emphasis. You can also use the B or the bold, but again, as I've said, this is already rarely used because HTML should be used to define text, not to format text. So let's say over uh, lazy dog, I'm going to use I. Where's my cursor? Slash I. So these are examples of tags. Then let, let me ref, uh, refresh. So this is my B and this is my I slash I. So that is how my browser inter interpreted I slash I. Okay. So in appearance, B is quite similar with uh, strong and emphasis is quite similar with I or italics. Now you can try some of, uh, you can try some of the tags. Let's say for example, I want to place here a BR. So BR stands for break or line break. So if, if I'm going to save and refresh, so this is my original uh, appearance of my document. Once I refresh, you notice computer studies now is on the next line because of the BR, which actually stands for line break. So with that, I'm going to give you several more HTML tags and you can try to use them in your document. So that's all for today. Thank you.